So explain this. You guys made the decision over the weekend to pause on this AstraZeneca vaccine. Tell me why you made that decision and whether or not you think it's going to impact Ireland's ability to get vaccinated and to get past this pandemic at this point. Well, essentially, our clinical advisors, the clinical advisors to government, which is made up of a National Immunisation Advisory Committee, uh, took this decision on foot of a notice from the Norwegian authorities in respect of a cluster of cases uh, that occurred um, in Norway uh, in terms of blood clotting. Now, there is no causal uh, effect established or anything like that yet, but as a precautionary move uh, in line with the precautionary principle and an abundance of caution or clinical advice was to pause the programme uh, whilst the EMA, the European Medicines Authority, uh, does a review of this. Uh, we hope this is temporary. We anticipate that it will be temporary uh, and that we can catch up fairly quickly in terms of the uh, pause of the administration of the uh, AstraZeneca, uh, AstraZeneca vaccines. Bear in mind, of course, that we are continuing to administer to our over 70 population the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines and the Moderna um, vaccine. Uh, all of the vaccines have proven to be very effective. Uh, we have concentrated on our older age cohort group, the uh, residents of nursing homes, long-term care facilities, our frontline healthcare workers um, and our over uh, 70s. And so far, the impact of the vaccination programme has been quite dramatic in terms of the reduction of severe illness and uh, death and indeed incidents uh, amongst uh, the cohort groups uh, that have been um, vaccinated. So uh, we will continue uh, to press ahead. This is an unwelcome pause, but nonetheless, I think it's important uh, that we take uh, heed of the advice we have received and adopt the precautionary principle. Now, talk to me a little bit about these variants, because you guys might be a couple of weeks ahead of us in terms of the impact of the variants. Are you seeing uh, uh, an impact there in terms of the vaccination process? Do you think these variants have the potential to sort of derail the recovery that we've begun to see as you talk about that turnaround already starting to happen now? Well, the one significant variant we have experienced is the UK, as it's called, the B117 variant, which we essentially experienced at the beginning of the year uh, and caught us, to be frank, um, in terms of, along with other issues, um, with a, a third wave that was very, very difficult for us um, uh, through the Christmas period in January. Uh, but we have managed a very dramatic reduction in cases and hospitalizations and in severe illness through the remarkable response of the Irish people in adhering to severe restrictions on movement um, on a, and in a whole range of categories, so much so that we're down now one of the lowest rate of incidence again across Europe, um, not you know, with, with a number of other states. So the impact of the variants can be quite dramatic. Um, so you, one does, it's a twin track approach from here on. One has to have severe restrictions for the time being, but obviously the rollout of the vaccination programme has proved to be effective. Uh, and so our experience so far is that the vaccines in play um, are offering a significant degree of protection, certainly against the B117 variant. Um, and that is also the experience in the United Kingdom um, as well, that the evidence is that it is uh, proving very effective against the B117. We haven't really had any significant experience of the uh, Brazilian variant or indeed the South African variant uh, to test that. But again, our sense is uh, that the vaccines will provide a significant general protection against variants. That said, the European Union is not wasting time in terms of preempting potential new variants into the future and has pulled together a group, uh, the HERA group, which will involve uh, biotech companies with research investment from the European Union, with researchers uh, to develop um, you know, f um, modifications to existing mRNA sure. vaccines uh, that would be uh, stronger against any potential variants. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.